Hey, how's it going, all you lovely people? It's Shadzor or Door Shadow coming back to you with episode 21 of FTB Skies, and today we're gonna get into some sh shenanigans. Um, you can see next to me, I've got shenanigans set up here, and uh, this may not be the most effective shenanigans, but it is shenanigan shenanigans nevertheless. Okay, um, one of the things that I want to try and do is automate Batania without using refined storage or Batania itself. And I think the way I want to do this is with integrated dynamics. Now, this is going to be a little bit more complicated than probably necessary. Um, but we're going to try this. So, in theory, to do this, I'm going to check each individual block. And basically kind of create our own constructor or deconstructor in a sense. Um, so this might not even be too, too possible. Um, to do this with integrated dynamics, but uh, we're going to give this a shot. So, first things first, we have a block reader and a redstone writer, okay? And what we're going to do is we're going to come over here to our logic programmer, and we're going to check for a block. And that block we're going to check for, I need to put this here, is we're going to check for living rock. And then we're going to do... We're going to have to do this on, on all of these, by the way. There's no uh, easy way to really do this. So I'm going to do this for one part, and then we're going to come back and do it later. Um, but I don't know how we're going to take care of actually placing these blocks. Um, hmm. That's a problem for future shut door. That's all right. Uh, but we'll also want to grab the actual block card from here. So we're going to go here, grab this block card, and we're going to say equal... We're going to say, does this block equal this block? If so, we want to break this. So we're going to put this here. So we're going to say redstone signal. Uh, this, uh, wait, what? Variable ID, oh, cannot be found within the network. Yeah, that's a, that's something I already knew. Um, so we'll place this logic, the variable store here. And we're going to have to have a variable store for each one of these, by the way, I'm pretty sure. So that's going to be a thing. Actually, can I... Can I? We have entangled blocks. I'm curious. Can we shenanigans this even more than the shenanigans we're doing right now? Where is my entangled binder? Right here. So if I set a entangled block here and a variable store here, and I do this, or no, if I do this and then this, can this connect? No. Oh, shucks. Okay. Well, it was worth a shot, right? Yeah, because it can connect on all faces. All right. Worth a shot. We'll make multiple variable stores, uh, but that's all right. So we can toss in this block, this block, and then this should have five and four. It is the top one. I was right. All right. So now if I take a piece of stone... Because this is the only part we really need to automate. We need to make sure that this is living rock. Um, or living wood, which is the other one. Um, so let's see. Perfect. So this actually does work. Okay. So basically, what we have here is just checking to make sure that this is a living rock block. But we're going to need a block breaker. Uh, I, think, I think this block breaker will work. I don't know. Let's try this block breaker and see what happens. Uh, we need mossy cobblestone. Do I? I don't even think I have mossy cobblestone. Cyclix uh, materials that they use for their recipes is just strange sometimes. <laughs> That's all right. Okay, so if we place a block breaker down, so requires redstone always on. So we'd want requires redstone. And what we can do is probably come under the platform here, place this down, and we can actually use laser I.O. to kind of make this a little simpler. Uh, so we're going to grab some laser nodes. Uh, we are going to then grab some redstone cards, and then we can take out this redstone lamp. We can do this, down, redstone, uh, input, and then here, I guess I didn't need to place that block back. 
We're going to go here, place that, go up, redstone, and then doodly do. Where is my laser wrench? Laser wrench obtained. And then do that. And then, of course, we also need to make sure we set the up direction to output strong. So that's one part of the plan. So once we place a piece of stone here, we want, well, they won't work, right? It'll do nothing. And then whenever we get a block placer of some sort, we'll be able to say, hey, if this signal is on, then this signal should, this should never work. Um, which I think the way we're going to do that, and I guess we could kind of set that up here. I'm going to move this logic store or logic programmer is we're going to have the block placer here. So this thing right here, okay, we're going to have this here and I mean, it won't be able to place a block until it's empty anyway, but I think I kind of want to set this up a little smart. So requires redstone. Um, and yeah, so we, we can only require redstone. So if I do this, can I actually, I don't even know if I can do this. Output strong. If there, oh wait, hold on. I might want to put this here, here, down direction, redstone output. If I connect this to this, of course we have uh, no signal currently, but if I grab a torch, can this actually work? I don't know if this actually can force a signal. Okay, so uh, we want to grab stone. See, so I don't think this would actually do what I'm thinking, right? Because it's it's definitely not. Because, I mean, this redstone torch will just get turned off. Um, but since this doesn't place, we can always just do always on. We can kind of scrap that idea. Um, and this should be everything we need to create a uh, Batania automation with integrated dynamics and a little bit of cyclic and a little bit of laser I.O. I mean, that's pretty dang simple, in my opinion. Um, and you could really use this to automate a lot of things, right? Because uh, integrated dynamics, while it's confusing uh, for larger projects, something like this, it actually makes it very, very simple. Would I love to make this simpler? Probably. Because I could do it with refined storage, and uh, that's that's a thing. We need a, a hopper of some sort. Uh, so hopper, absorption hopper, uh, and then we can do a demagnetization because we do need a collection system. I forget the block breakers do not have an inventory. So we'll grab this, then we can upgrade this, and then we can actually come down below the flower. So that's right here, and just kind of create a decent radius. All right. And then on top of the flower, absorption hopper, show area. Uh, we can scale this down a little bit. So like that. Where did you just get cobblestone from? Oh, you are not fast enough, aren't you? This block breaker has a delay. Do you see that? Because it made cobblestone. So it actually broke this piece of stone. Yeah. Um, that's not what we're looking for. We need something that actually can work without a delay. So let's try industrial foregoings block breaker. Because if this can create uh, or break blocks without having a delay, that'd be fantastic. So let's go here. That should have been picked up by this. Perfect. Block placer. Let's make sure this is placed in the right direction. It is not. So let's give this a little rotate. Oop. So we actually want to make sure we have redstone uh, run with redstone signal. Okay. And then I think that should be facing the right direction. I hope so. Uh, and then we need a flux point. So this is going to add a little bit more complexity. 
Um, but we actually should be able to just use um, the actual available stuff, right? The actual available laser network down here to actually make this simpler. So let's grab a flux point. Let's fly down here. Uh, and I'm actually going to move this to directly below the flower. Like actually touching the flower here. Okay. And then we can grab a flux point. Place that here. Shift, place. There we go. I tried shift placing it the first time. I don't know why it wasn't let me, but that's okay. And then if we grab a laser node. So we're going to grab in total eight more laser nodes. So I'm just going to... Well, I need another eight anyway. So I'm not really concerned about making that much. Because we're going to do the other uh, system as well. So... Uh, card holder, card overclockers, fantastic. Energy upgrade insert. And then we're going to need to make some energy cards. So let's go 30 energy cards. Never a bad idea to have more than we need. All right. And then we'll just grab all of this. Awesome. Okay. So we're inserting power. And then on the... Ooh, this is going to cause problems, though. We're going to have to do redstone channels. All right. Adds a layer of complexity. I'm fine with that. We'll just make sure this this one's independent so far, so we'll be good. Uh, and then here we'll go up, insert energy, and then here, where is the actual power one? Uh, extract, overclock, as much power as we can. Okay, and this does have, of course, the progress meter, so it might take a little bit longer, but that also means that if it even had a delay, it wouldn't actually run no matter what. So, there's there's that. So, we've got a block placer from Cyclic, industrial foregoings block breaker, um, and this is working. This is actually a good system. Um, and, I mean, I've, I've got to duplicate this system, right? So, I've got to go around all of these blocks... And also create variable stores and all of the variable cards to actually get this to operate. So, uh, I think I'm going to start with the laser stuff. And uh, I think I will be back in a little bit once I get this done. Might take me a few minutes here. Um, but yeah, I think, uh, I think this is going to be good. We also do need like an ender chest or something. But, eh, we'll get there. Alrighty, so we've got the first system here. Um, and I, I did forget to mention that the, these uh, block breakers down here actually have an inventory, so we're going to have to add some item transfer out of those to actually get this to fully function. Uh, but I think what I want to do is quickly grab a network uh, receiver and a card, and I think I want to just plop this down. Mm, let's see. I want to set... At least two blocks. Uh, well, actually, I guess we could just do it right here. Doesn't really matter. And then the pure daisy can go right there. Right? No, the pure daisy needs to go... Do -do -do. So blocks around it. Yeah, that'll be perfect. All right. So we'll shift click with the network card. And then we can grab a transmitter and run back to the base here. And hook this up. So we should then get an interface that we can pull both stone and logs out of. Um, and I'm pretty sure, do we have, yeah, we have, no, we don't have stone generation. Stone generation is not something we've set up so far. Uh, so we might need to work on that real quick as well. So network transmitter, let's set this down, set that down, uh, grab an interface. Let's see here. So... Doodly do interface importer exporter. I really need to get a lot of this stuff like stocked, but I don't think we have a requester. A requester would be perfect for this uh, for this actual thing. So maybe that's something we have to add ourselves. Just a requester. Let's see. Uh, request. We have the, yes, we do have uh, Requestify. So we could actually get this to set up a certain back stock of items if we need to. All right, that is perfect. I, I will do that in the future. Uh, we might actually do that after I get this placed up here. So um, let's go 
interface here. That's perfect. And then stone. So we want a stack of stone in here. And then I'm going to kind of do... Oh, how do I want to do this? Well, I guess we have entangled blocks. I haven't messed with entangled blocks enough. Uh, so let's add entangled. I need to get these set up to auto craft, by the way, but I haven't done that yet. So let's grab seven of these. Clear that. There we go. So now we've got eight. And what we can do is just kind of go out four. And we're just going to place some item pipes on top of these. Kind of make it easier to run all the cabling. And also because I really don't feel like doing laser I.O. right now and setting all this up. And I only needed, I think, seven of these in total, actually. Eh, but that's all right. No, I should need eight, right? Yeah, I, I need eight. I was just... The, the end cap blocks are throwing me off. But that's all right. Okay, so pipes. We'll grab this. We'll grab ten of these. We only need two, but I, I just want to have a couple just in case. So we'll get rid of that, get rid of that, get rid of that, do this, do this, and we are going to say you can only send stone. So we want to add that as the whitelist. Okay. So everything is placed. Now I'm going to watch this actually, see if this actually functions as I need it to. Okay, and then these guys should get destroyed here quickly. Fantastic. Okay, so we've only got a few destruction there. So maybe not fantastic. Run with redstone signal. Okay, so why are you not... Ah. There is a problem. Right? Because we only want... Because these should be... Or no. Am I wrong about this? Hold on. I always get these confused. Yeah, because this is the input side. And then the output should be the bottom. Yeah, that's right. So all of these should have... Yeah, output strong. Okay, so I was right. So that was something I missed. But that's okay. So this should now have all stone blocks. Fantastic, it does. Okay, so this is working. This is actually functioning, which is fantastic. I kind of like this. This is different. I've never done it this way. Um, and I think that's really, really awesome to see. Uh, one of the other things is, is also, the thing I didn't account for is for every single one of these... You can't just use the same two cards because every single ID card you make has a different ID number associated with it. Which means that I had to go around with the actual Logic programmer and recreate each individual piece by pulling out the cards that I needed for each individual one. So it is a little bit more tedious. But honestly, I kind of enjoyed making this. So the next thing we want to do quickly here is grab up uh, item card extract i don't think we need a filter or anything like that because nothing else should ever go in here um and i think occasionally we might get cobblestone i'm not really worried about it that much i think um and it's going to be very very rarely especially with these machines um let's actually go for train let's yeah overclockers i forget might not be a bad idea uh but yeah so i think this will work it's not the most 100% perfect system. Of course, there's some. There's always going to be some flaws with this stuff. Uh, did I just throw the wrong? I just did the wrong thing. I don't even know what I was doing there. If I can click the right thing, it might help. But yeah, so we're just going to extract. And uh, I'll be right back. Okay, so this is... Got all of the item things it needs. Now we need to go to this... And I'm just going to laser node this. So we can then do this to this on up item card. Okay. Nope, go this direction. 
and that should pull all of the living stone out of these and actually pump it into our system, which is great. So we've got, we're working on living rock, I think, right? Oh, my system's doing that, isn't it? No? Oh, or did I mess up somewhere? I did. Okay. Well, it's better to discover that now than later, so... Okay, now we should have living rock coming into our system. And of course, we do not have any speed upgrades or anything on this. So this is going to take a minute. Uh, we might want a stack upgrade as well. Yeah, so we are breaking cobblestone every so often. Um, but that's I think that's got a void upgrade on it, so it's not... Oh, actually, it has a shut-off, so that might not be a good thing. Uh, is there a way to cause a delay? I don't think there is with this. Shucks. And I think there is, yeah, there's just no way to increase the time at which it actually outputs. Um, well, it'll be a problem. Let's actually solve that by a trash can. So before we void anything... Or before we send anything here, let's go with um, a, a chest. So we're going to create kind of a buffer point to right here. Actually, now let's do... Oh, there goes that. Do I have a magnet on me? No, I have demagnetiz demagnetization happening. But we don't really need a big chest. So... We can actually quickly just put a laser node here, a chest here. Nope, not there. A chest here. At item pipes. Uh, let's grab... Oh, do I not, oh, I do have some on me. Fantastic. I was just making sure. Okay. So, we can then have the trash can here set to cobblestone. So that way we don't receive any more. So filter, cobblestone, whitelist. And then here, we'll go up to the interface. Okay. And then here, of course, we'll go on the down direction. We will send the item card there. And then laser wrench this to here. Okay. A little bit more complicated than probably necessary, but... I think this will allow for us to prevent the cobblestone overflow. And also, we can just void logs as well once we get the dream, the dream wood set up. Uh, or actually just resend them back through, but uh, we'll see. So that is a completed living rock system, right? We are getting living rock in here. Um, and the reason we're automating this now is because we're going to get into Batania probably in the next episode. I'm going to work on getting this one completely done uh, basically just a complete replication of this with just living wood instead. And uh, yeah, I will see you guys in the next episode because I think it's a decent time to wrap this up quickly. My mob farm looks like it was backing up here. Do we got any problems over here? No, we are going to sooner or later. I need to just start voiding these bags, I think. Yeah, but all right. We will see you guys in the next one. Thank you guys so, so much for watching another FTB Skies video. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.